Tonga is facing an unprecedented disaster, as New Zealand warns of further eruptions and the risk of a tsunami. A massive volcanic eruption and tsunami near Tonga caused an unprecedented catastrophe, the Pacific nation's leader said Tuesday, as New Zealand warned of further eruptions that could complicate aid deliveries to remote islands where communications have been cut off. In its first official update since the eruption of the Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haapai underwater volcanoes on Saturday, the Tongan government on Tuesday confirmed the deaths of three people and several other injuries and outlined the scale of the devastation for the community. Tongan Prime Minister Siasi Sovalini said all houses on Mango Island, where 36 people lived were destroyed, only two houses remained on Fanoifua Island, and severe damage was reported on Nomuka Island, home to 239 people, he said. An unprecedented catastrophe has hit Tonga, Sovalini said, adding a plume of volcanic fungus that expanded to cover all of the country's roughly 170 islands, 36 of which are inhabited impacting an entire population of more than 100,000 people. According to experts, the eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano is likely the largest volcanic event on record since Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines in 1991. On Tuesday, New Zealand's Ministry of Foreign Affairs warned of the possibility of further volcanic eruptions. Eruption, posing a risk of further volcanic eruptions. Tsunamis. The estimate was based on modeling by GNS Science, a New Zealand geological research institute, the ministry said. The most likely scenario is an ongoing eruption in the next few days to weeks, with continued tsunami risk to Tonga and New Zealand, he said. Saturday's eruption generated tsunami waves as high as 49 feet, 15 meters, that hit the west coast of the main islands of Tonga, Tonga Tapu, and the islands of Iue and Hai Pi. A UN spokesman said an initial assessment by Tongan authorities found 100 houses damaged and 50 destroyed on Tonga Tapu, the country's main island, home to the majority of the population. No evacuation centers have been opened on the main island, and those displaced mostly live with extended families. In EUA, 89 people are in evacuation centers, the spokesman said, adding that information from the outer islands was extremely scarce. Race to send aid to Tonga, the first details of the devastation emerged on Tuesday after Tonga's Pacific neighbors, Australia and New Zealand, made reconnaissance flights to the islands en route three to five hours. The photo shows the entire island community that was once beautiful and green, now covered in thick grey. Many houses appear to have been damaged or completely destroyed. Flooded saltwater pools, coupled with volcanic ash, contaminate drinking water sources, according to the Red Cross.